So in your opinion, what does it take to run a world-class assembly plant operation? All right. You know, I, I talked a little bit about this, but I think you definitely have to be strategic and look at the, the, the long-term out. You know, you have to look at the capability and capacity of your factory. Um, you have to look at what where you have from a people standpoint. Um, you know, we talked about doing the strategy deployment, making sure. I mean, that's, that is when, in essence, when you get down to it, your handshake between your leader. Mm -hmm. you know, it's between me and the VP of manufacturing, what we, what we're going to tackle this whole year. Um, it goes both ways. You know, you know what your commitment is to them. And then also from a leader standpoint, you know what you've asked of your team to do. So I, mean, I just kind of call it, you know, it's our handshake. And then, you know, I think you have to use um, data um, to make a lot of your decisions. So that's kind of where we end up going into the mm -hmm. AI aspect. Of right. It too. Absolutely. Um, you know, where you don't have um, visibility of data, it's really difficult to measure and see progress. Mm -hmm. um, and if you can't measure anything, it's almost impossible to improve it because you just really don't know yeah. what you're supposed to be improving. And that's just fundamental, I would say, Six Sigma yeah. you know, thinking. Uh -huh. You know, we've invested over the years in a platform um, we call Brilliant Factory. It's, it's in essence, you know, uh, our MES system, our manufacturing enterprise system. Um, it allows a lot of our leadership team and even all the way down to um, the team members on the floor, too, to be able to see, you know, um, live our production numbers, our quality numbers, our um, work orders, put work orders in on your phone. Um, you can see absenteeism, who's clocked in, who's clocked out, who's gone through the gate, who hasn't. Um, and then even some of our lean tools, too. You know, it was a little bit taboo. We used to think everything had to be on paper, but now... You know, sometimes it's difficult because it's very difficult to see trends if it's all on paper. Um, but um, a lot of our lean tools now are digitized, too. So our hour by hour charts. So, you know, they're, you know, how many did they make versus how many they were supposed to make? What were the major causes of downtime? That's all in the system, too, as well. Um, and then just standardized work. So, you know, your Yamazumi chart, which is your bar chart that kind of says where, you know, where your operators um, have um waste or where there might be a little bit over capacity and need to look at that. So a lot of that stuff is digitized. So it's just, a, it's, um, it helps you with the data to make database decisions. So that's key. That's just one of the things yeah. you, you can't, um, you can't make wise decisions without accurate data. Um, and then I, I talked a little bit too about workforce development too. So that's another thing, you know, we're, Developing and improving your process is one thing, but you've got to work on your people too, um, as well. And, you know, our workforce today is different than it was 20 years ago, and it'll be completely different in 20 years. So um, it, that's just, that's just the nature of the world. Um, you know, we, we invest heavily in, um, in our um, team members. So um, one of the programs that we participate in is Alabama Fame. So that stands for Federation of Advanced Manufacturing Education. I know that a lot of states have that as well, but we participate in the um, in the Alabama chapter of it. And that um, helps us a lot bring in skilled trade. So we work hand in hand with some of the local um, community colleges on that. So we always have eight to 10 of those going through at a time. And the, and the goal is once they graduate is, to, is for us to hire them on. And we've had great success in that. Even got some women in that too, which is wonderful. Yes. Um, and then, you, you know, we always um, continue to offer apprenticeships in um, IT, HR, um, environmental health and safety, co-ops, you know, always do a wide variety of engineering projects. Um, so definitely invest in just our people. And I'm a big proponent too that, you know, especially, I don't necessarily want to say just early on in career, but definitely early on in your career, like when you're such a sponge and you want to grow and learn, yes. like you've got to invest in your people too. Cause oftentimes that, that just shows your dedication and your, you know, your, how much you're investing in them to be a part mm -hmm. of your team. Right. Um, so um, try very hard to make sure that in addition, when we, when we, when we go through and do goals and objectives that, you know, they try to put some personal development on there, professional development on there too, as well. I'm like, you know, think about things for those individuals that are important to them. Do they need some leadership skills? Do they need some technical aptitude that they need to go deeper in? Um, you know, do they need hydraulics classes? You know, what do they need from an engineer um, to be able to be a better leader down the road? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. thinking again, multiple years out, you know, what we develop. So that's important to me. And I make sure that our, um, my staff looks at that too, with their people, not in addition to their processes. And then I just think from a high level standpoint, you have to be humble. I mean, you really do. I mean, you're not going to know everything. You're just Mm -hmm. not, Mm -hmm. not, nor should you know everything. Um, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's impossible to even think that too. You know, I'm, I'm very fortunate here at this um, Decatur plant to have a lot of expertise. Um, the team here has been wonderful. Um, even though I've been in other plants and in manufacturing for a long time, you know, building a refrigerator was not my forte. And so they've done a really wonderful job of um, helping coach me and train me and teach me. Um, so um, just helped a ton. Um, 